right, another beautiful day here at the farm. I'm gonna check on the plant. So the peppers are doing well. I'll be able to keep them out here all day today and probably tomorrow night. And then uh, Friday, I'll have to probably bring them up to the deck just to keep them from freezing, but no big deal. Deck's still covered. And my brother-in-law, just law got me this fantastic grate for my grill. So I think I'll have this one probably forever. That one had uh, had its purpose and it was done. That was a perfect timing for that. And we got our tomatoes. They have come up. I bring them out for a couple hours in the sun. Uh, if I left about all day, they would probably burn. You gotta make sure you don't overdo it. And now we're heading out to the pond. You can see how the grass is getting so much greener and probably not too far away from getting it being its first mowing. And I got a lot of branches to pick up and add to that pile. Let me see if you catch anything on the surface. If we come here quiet enough. Well, something was there was there. You tell it's getting a little bit clearer. Okay, now if we can zoom in on that, there's one of those tadpoles it's sitting on that branch. Yep, we just moved. Hopefully, we caught that. I wasn't looking. So they're still there. Just trying to see if there's any. Minnows swimming around. I did see them earlier, so they got to be out there too. Nice and green, and spring is in the air. I think I'm going to possibly plant some potatoes today. I'll need to get, uh, I got some tarps I've seen over here that I need to grab and bring over to the garden. And I'll use that for my grow bags. And a 30 gallon grow bag seem to do. Extremely well for potatoes. Worked well for potatoes, worked well for green pepper plants, and tomato plant. The only thing was when you are using grow bags, you are going to need to use more water. Here we got trails. So these are trails that the you can tell the animals use quite often. And I can follow a trail. All the way to that shed where I know some of them are living in. And I got two tarps out here to grab. And I use them and lay them on the ground. And I don't have to weed around the grow bags. Now, literally, I could probably just leave them right on the ground by themselves, but it makes it easier to keep the area clean. So, each tarp is probably good for maybe two grow bags. And these are just extra ones I've had laying around for a long time, so <coughs> it's time to utilize them. So yeah, when the sun's out, I like to be outside walking and getting that vitamin D. You just can't, you can't beat it. So, going to be a lot of spring cleaning inside and out. It's going to keep me pretty busy. Some of my workouts are going to have to get shifted to the afternoon to the gym in Pontiac by work. Especially this week because Mama is off for spring break. This actually might be a good time to look for my lost discus. I threw a discus in here one time and I couldn't find it. And a big reason is, is it was so weedy. And there it is. So, that's been hiding there all year. 
So I found my discus. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! So I just had to wait for everything to kind of die down. And also, <laughs> I was throwing 10 pound weights out here too. And I threw it into an area that really didn't allow me to find it. So this might be a time to kind of peek in there too and see if it's come up to the surface. So the advantage is before the, all the growth gets done, try to find those things you missed. You got me another practice disc. That's a good thing. And I got a lot of stuff to spread on the garden. I got a lot of stuff that I need to till up and pull up all those stalks. Here, let me try. I'm gonna pull all those up. I gotta build this up with more layer and then get all the grow bags emptied and probably clean off the tarps and get them laid back down. So, I have some projects in front of me here that I need to do. You can tell I just throw all the eggshells and vegetable scraps out here. Ugh. I got lots of things I need to pull up before I start coming through with the loaded tiller. <coughs> Try to get a little bit of it done today. You know, don't don't really worry about getting it all done at the same time. So now I'll walk out the mailbox. That gives me a good probably 10 minutes of sunshine this time through. There'll be more on the next one. I'm kind of looking where I need to start mowing already. So I'll probably start mowing some patches today. Some areas of the lawn go faster than others. So I'm going to have to work on that. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day.